So I'm here this evening with Karen G, who has just published and is at the launch of her brand new book, How I Became Dodger Dog. Uh, Karen, how did Dodger Dog come about? Well, I took voluntary redundancy from my job of 34 years and I thought about creating a legacy and animals is absolutely my passion and I wanted to stop the, the cruelty that's going on. So a Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the most owned dog in the UK. I own two of them. They're fantastic dogs, but they've got a dreadful reputation. And what happens is it's a bad owner that gets them that reputation. So I wanted to get children thinking about responsible dog ownership from a very, very young age. So I decided to create my character Dodger Dog based on the real life Dodger Dog and to really get children thinking about responsible dog ownership to stop cruelty from, from a very young age. So Karen, tell me a bit about uh, Dodger Dog's mission. Ah, yeah. So Dodger Dog's on a mission, yeah? So Dodger Dog is so happy that he's found his forever home and he started to talk to other dogs and he realises that all any dog needs is love in a forever home and then it can be a happy little dog like Dodger. So at the end of this first book, Dodger realises, you know, <laughs> that there's other dogs that need his help and support. So Dodger Dog is on a mission to save other dogs and to raise awareness of all different issues around dog ownership, but also about the environment, about the, we've got the, the beach code, we've got the country code, we've got environmental issues, and it's about behaviours as well. So. All Dodger Dog stories are based on true stories, true things that have happened in the real Dodger Dog's life. And they're about everybody understanding what it is to own a dog. And Dodger Dog is on a mission to spread this and to stop healthy dogs from being euthanized and to make sure that every dog has a good home. So how does the, uh, the story of Dodger Dog help to do that? So Dodger Dog, this, the first book that I've, I've got here with me today at the launch, uh, that we're launching, is all about when Dodger Dog was in a little family, it was a happy little dog, and what happened was one evening his owner put him in the car and drove him off and he took him to a rescue centre. Well in real life Dodger was taken to the RSPC hospital, the Harmsworth, the one that some people might be familiar with from the television series. So Dodger Dog was taken there and, and Dodger was abandoned by his owner and he stayed there for a couple of months because Staffies it's very difficult to get rescue centres and places to take more than so many Staffies because it's such a common breed. It's the most owned breed in the UK. So Dodger Dog was there for two months and actually time was starting to run out. So it's not only the most owned dog, but it's the most euthanized healthy dog. So my little Dodger Dog, my daughter, she works for the RSPCA. She met him, she fell in love with him. And having just lost my two dogs, Dalmatians, they were 14 and 15, I was ready to, to get another dog. And that's how she brought him home and Dodger came into our lives. So when you had the, uh, the idea for, for the book, how did you approach writing it? Well, I went to the pound shop and I bought a pack of exercise books. And I decided that it was going to have a picture at the top and I was going to write underneath. So what I did was I just left the top blank and I just started writing an amount that I considered was going to be the right amount for a children's book. And then when I'd written, because I've written six books so far, um, I started to think about who was going to illustrate them. And that's when I met the illustrator, Kim Weimar, and we started to work on the project together. But yeah, I wrote it in an exercise book from the pound shop. And how long did it take you? Well, I suppose I spent actually probably more time thinking about it than writing it, which I believe now is quite common in, in um, writers and, and authors. So, but actually writing the book was quite, quite a quick process. It took me a couple of days and then 
an evolving time of revisiting the book and, and maybe tweaking it here and there. So after sort of thinking about it for a while and planning out the story, yeah, writing it only took a couple of days for each book. And how did you go about uh, getting Dodger Dog published? Well, <clears throat> what happened was I actually took my idea and I tried to find a publisher and I got people who were interested in the project but wanted to change the dog it was one of the things. They told me that maybe a Labrador or a Golden Retriever might be more of an appealing breed of dog and completely didn't get what I was trying to achieve. So I just felt, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to publish what I want to publish. So I decided to self-publish. So I found out about Amazon and I self-published the book on Amazon. And, uh, and that's really now. We're hoping that maybe someone might want to take Dodger Dog and, and help us. But we're self-publishing and we're getting the message out ourselves. Now, Dodger Dog is not just a book, uh, is it? Uh, Dodger Dog also has a club, I believe. Tell us about it the club. It does. He has the I Love Dodger Dog, Dog Club. So, as I said, this is just the first book in the series. And we've got a website, so www.dodgerdog.co.uk. We're going to have a Dodger Dog Club. And you're going to be able to find out where Dodger Dog's making appearances. So, Dodger Dog is also a charitable project so 25 percent of the proceeds from all dodger dog merchandise and books is going to various dog charities across the uk the states and asia and uh, they're dodger's favorite dog charities so we've got a website and we've got the club on there so if you join our website uh, our club, sorry, on the website, you'll get a balloon and a sticker. You'll get a week, a monthly newsletter, and there'll be activities and things. And you'll be the first to find out about any merchandise or our new publications. Now, I know you're uh, an enthusiastic Facebook user. Has Dodger got his own Facebook page yet? Well, funnily enough, Dodger's always had his own Facebook page, which he shares with his sister, who also will be appearing in, in our third book, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it's the third one, Shay. So Dodger and Shay have got their own Facebook page, which they've had long before I even thought of the book. And we're continuing the same one. But Dodger's also on Twitter. So he's uh, at I Love Dodger Dog. And he's only been on there a couple of days. He's already got more followers than most of us. He's got about 60 some followers. So you can follow him on Twitter and you can follow him on Facebook. And who is Dodger Dog really aimed at? Dodger Dog is aimed at children, maybe three years old, six years old, probably preschool or first year of infant school. So it's aimed at small children. But actually, at the weekend, I had a really heartwarming review on Amazon, and someone put that their seven-year-old had read Dodger Dog to their three-year-old sister and that they'd both really really love the story so that totally is what it's all about so it's aimed at preschool and young children but of course you know it can be enjoyed by anyone fantastic well wish you every great success with that we'll look forward to uh, the future dodger dog stories and uh, nice to talk to you Carolyn. thank, thank you, you very much thank you.